Hello everyone, this is a little tutorial on how to get Kali for your Nexus device or the OnePlus. For those not too familiar with Kali, Kali is a operating system that you can install on your computer and now your Nexus devices. And it contains a lot of security tools, uh, mostly for cracking and exploits, and just so that you can find the patches in your own uh, networks and secure them yourself. To actually perform these wireless attacks, you are actually going to need a uh, external wireless USB uh, connector. Now uh, this one's very popular. It is the TP-Link. Yeah, that. And uh, it's very commonly used. It's very good. It works. So you can pick one up for about fifteen dollars or so. So it's not even very expensive. Another requirement before we begin on your Nexus device we're going to need to enable developer options. To get into developer mode you're going to need to go into your settings and then go down to about and then scroll all the way down until you see build number and tap that a whole bunch until it says you are a developer. It says no need you are already a developer for me so I'm going to want to go back. Now you're going to want to go into developer options and you're going to want to go to the USB debugging and turn that on and allow or press OK. Alright so let's get into the installation. We're going to need to grab the EXE from the website that link is down below. So go to it and then download the NetHunter Windows installation. So once that's downloaded it'll look a little something like this and you're going to want to just open that right up. Pick your destination and once you complete the installation, it'll look a little something like this, and you're just going to want to go to next. The devices here are pretty self-explanatory to find which one your device is. For my case, I'm using the Nexus 7 2013 uh, Wi-Fi tablet. So you're going to want to click which one and click next. Now here's where you can install the drivers if you need to test them or install them. I've already done that, so you're going to want to install the official, flash the latest compatible, compatible KitKat, and here you will have to download and update the dependencies. So go ahead and do that, it'll take a little bit, but let it download everything. Mine just finished, so this everything should say ready whenever it's ready, and click on next. So this is a little thing about having an unlocked bootloader, you will need that. That just means that you can install custom ROMs and it can boot those ROMs up. So uh, make sure that you have your device set up for that or you can click it and go through the steps. So they want you to flash stock but you don't need to flash the stock back on. You can just pretty much skip that like I just did.